guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be sculpting a new torso for Like of Eye with epoxy sculpt and kit bashing it with some of the bits and bobs I had lying around. I'll be putting the bottom half of the model together as normal, but removing the humanoid part of the torso. I only had a Stanley knife and not a serrated saw, which you should definitely get. Lots of places sell small saws, specifically for hobby crafts, which are good for sawing plastic. But, um, I resorted to heating my blade with a lighter and trying to melt it through. Do not do this, but it worked eventually. Now I'll start sculpting my body. I'm using epoxy sculpt, which is a two-part kind of resin putty clay, similar to green stuff, which takes a few hours to harden up after it's mixed. I'll be using plastic modeling tools and my fingers. You can dip them in water to prevent the clay sticking to the tools and help smooth out the surface. I've sculpted a rough outline, but the clay is still a bit squishy to work with in detail, so I'll leave it to harden overnight and start carving the details tomorrow. I'm using a scalpel a metal file that continues shaping the clay.
I'm removing the head to re-sculpt the neck and super gluing it back on. Plastic glue won't work with the epoxy sculpt. I've had these arms donated to me by my uh, lovely boyfriend. I think they're from a stock collecting flesh eater quartz box. I've got a set of bigger arms and a set of smaller arms. I stuck some Ozioc Bone Reaper armor bits left over from my Morgast Harbringers to the larger arms because they seem to fit quite nicely. When I was deciding which parts to stick to the torso, I was just seeing what I had left over on sprues holding it up to the model and seeing which bits fitted proportionately to the rest of the model. Because it's quite a monstrous model with weird proportions to start with, you can kind of go a bit crazy with it. And here's how she looks now. To get a better look at how she looks overall, I'm going to give her a Xenothor highlight to blend the torso in with the plastic part. <laughs> Thanks for watching this kit bash. She looks pretty monstrous. If you like this like of eye kit bash, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Warhammer content. Let me know in the comments below what models you're going to kit bash with like of eye and which pieces you think would look cool on this model. Tune in next week to see how I'm going to paint this model up. Thanks for watching, see you next time!